Cause he will come straight. I'll tell him if he's. Pray you do. I'll know his pleasure. Alas, maybe he will repent. He has but offended in a dream. All sex, I would just smack his spice, and he to die for it. What's the matter, Provost? Is it your will Claudio dies tomorrow? Did I not tell thee yet? Hadst thou not order, why dost thou ask again? Let's be rash. Under your good correction, I have seen when, after execution, many a judgment hath been over. Go to. Let that be mine. Do you your office, or give up your place? I crave your honor's pardon. <laughs> oh, yeah. What shall be done, sir, with the groaning Julia? She's very in her heart. Dispose of her to some more fitter place, and that with speed. Here's the sister of the man condemned, desires access to you. Hath he a sister? I am the lord, a very virtuous maid, and shortly the sisterhood, if not already. Well, let her be admitted. See you the fornicatress is removed. Let her have <laughs> needful, but not lavish means. There will be order for it. Stay a little while. You are welcome here. What is your will? I am in a woeful suitor to your honor. Please, but your honor, hear me. Well, your suit? There is a vice that most I do abhor, and most desire should meet the blow of justice, for which I would not plead, but that I must, for which I must not plead, but that I am. Well, the matter. I have a brother condemned to die. Please, sir, I beseech you, let it be his fault and not my brother. Condemn the fault, but not the actor of it? Why, every fault's condemned ere it be done. Mine were the very cipher of the function to find fault who's fine stands in record, let go by the actor. Oh, severe, oh, oh, just but severe law. I had a brother then. Heaven keep your honor. Give it not more so to him again. Entreat him. Okay. Kneel before him. Hang upon his gown. You, you are too cold. Should you need a pin, could you not, could you, you could not more tame the tongue desire it. To him, to him I say. Must he needs die? He's sentenced. Tis too late. You are too cold. Too late? Why, no. I that could say a word may call it back again. If he were you and you is he, you would have slipped like he. But him, like you, would not have been so stern. Pray you, be gone. I would to heaven I had your potency and you were Isabel. Should it be thus? No. I would tell it were to be a judge and what a prisoner. Your, touch him, there's the vein. Your brother is a forfeit of the law, and you but waste your words. Alas, alas. How would you be if he, which sits on top of justice, should judge you as you are? Oh, think on that, and mercy will breathe within your lips like man new made. Be content, fair maid. It is the law, not I, that condemn your brother. Were he my kinsman, my brother, or my son, it should be thus with him tomorrow. He must die tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, that sudden, spare him, spare him. Good, good, my lord, bethink on it. There's many who have died for this offense. There's many that have committed it. I will well, say. The law hath not been dead, though it hath slept. Now tis awake and takes note of what is done. Yet show some pity. I show it most when I show justice. Oh, it is excellent to have a giant strength, but tyrannous to use it like a giant. Oh, that's well said. That's, that's well said. <laughs> oh, could, oh, could great men thunder as Jove himself would then? Jove would never be quiet. Jove would never be quiet. For every pelting petty officer, it would be Thunder, nothing but thunder. Merciful heavens. I'll rather with thy sharp and sulfurous bolts, they would rather split the, the unwedgeable and gnarled oak than the soft myrtle. But man, proud man, dressed in little brief authority, most ignorant of what he is most assured, his glassy essence like an angry ape, like all the angels laugh, Weep, and with our spleens laugh mortal. Oh, to him, to him, wench, he will relent. I, he's coming, I perceive it. 
pray heaven she wouldn't. It's not where our brother by ourselves. Great men may jest with saints, there's wit in them, but with less foul profanation. Thou art it right, girl, more, uh, more on it. That which word, that the captain, but a choleric word for which the soldier is flat blasphemy. Art advised of that? More on it. Why do you put these things upon me? Because authority, though it air like some, hath a kind of medicine that can skim the vice over the top. Go to your bosom, knock there. And ask your heart if it, what it doth know, that's like my brother's fault. If it confesses a natural guiltiness like his, then not let, then let not your, a sound upon your tongue speak against my brother's life. She speaks, she speaks and tis such sense, my sense breeds with it. Fare you well. Gentle, my lord, turn back. I will bethink me. Come again tomorrow. Hark how I'll bribe you. How? Bribe me? I, with all the such gifts that, such gifts that heaven can offer. You had more at all else. Not with font, not with <laughs> Fawn sickles of tested gold or stones with whose rate are the rich or poor as fancy values them, but with prayers that upon, that to heaven shall go ere morning. Prayers of preserved souls from fasting maidens whose minds are dedicated to nothing temporal. Come again tomorrow. Don't you? Tis, tis well. Away. Heaven save your honor. Amen. I go that way to temptation, where prayers cross. What time shall tomorrow shall I attend your lordship? Any time before noon. Save your honor. <laughs> Even thee, from thy virtue. What's this? What's this? Is it her fault or mine? This, the tempter or the tempted? Who sins most? 